Hi. Hello. Welcome to Movie Mondays, where I'll be your host, Itty Bitty Caitlin, for about the next, hopefully no more than six minutes, where we'll talk about movies that came on stars, that are in theaters, or maybe you just want me to talk about. But that means there are potential spoil alerts in this video, so if you don't want to possibly have any part of a movie ruined, please click away now. The title of the video will always be what movie I'm talking about. And I specifically waited for this week so that one of my favorite people in the entire world, his movie, could be the first one that I talk about. There are a few actors that I do this over. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, it's you! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! And if you can't guess from my shirt, Yes, that man is Adam Sandler. He is my favorite actor in the entire world, and the movie that I'm going to talk about is Just Go With It. I've seen it twice now, and uh, I think it's his most adam -y film in a while. Like, I don't think Funny People was him at all. And I don't think that um, Grown Ups was as much. I think that the amount of comedians in that movie kind of just balance each other out and he doesn't really shine so much in that one but this one this one is so him him and Jennifer Aniston they have such great chemistry on film and the Nicole Kidman thing I didn't expect at all like wow that girl likes to eat she'll do any role love Moulin Rouge um but I enjoyed this film so much me and my sister we called um his son Bart Mafia throughout the whole thing after he called him it in the the pizza diner scene. Um, and I thought that the acting was great. It was really awesome to see Nick Schwartzen throughout a lot of his movie. Because usually Nick has like one scene. Like in Chuck and Larry, he's the fairy. And he's not really seen a lot in most of his movies. He's in a lot of them. But this one he got to shine. And I really love Nick Schwartzen as well. I like anybody basically who works with Adam. Like if you work with Adam, I'm probably going to be a fan of yours just because you have the star quality that Adam wanted. Um, and I totally love the fact that the kid swindled him into getting going to Hawaii and then he can't even swim. That was one of the best scenes ever and watching it with my family, my mom and my sister, was even better the second time because them laughing so hard just made me laugh as hard as I wanted to because I couldn't really do it the first time because it was at like one o'clock in the morning. Um, but yes, I, I love him. His films are amazing. Most people just think he's like some mediocre fool who just made it and he's not got much talent. But I do. I love the part where he screams a lot. Like, I incorporate that in my personality. Like, most people who know me know I do this, like, deep voiced screaming thing sometimes when I'm talking on certain words. And I get that from him because he does it. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, um, I like the, the hula dance part where Jennifer and Nicole kind of, like, do this total battle royale hula style um that part was really funny I like the the coconut of death part and then um I just like the look in Jennifer's eyes when they finally get it up to their mouths she's such I love her facial expressions like I love her smile like when he says in the movie that her smile is the first thing he wants to wake up to and the last thing he thinks about I'm like that is really clever because she really does have a knockout of a smile <laughs> there is one person however that I really missed in this film and it's because he's in like every single one of them there's only a few he's not in and he could have done a really really good job in this. Like, they could have thrown him anywhere in this film and it would have just, like, amped it even more. And that's Rob Schneider. I love Rob Schneider. I think him and, uh, Adam go together like lamb and tuna fish. Let me know in the comments below if you know what movie I'm referencing with that. Um, also, in the comments below, leave 
say like who your favorite actor is or if there's another movie that you want me to um, talk about. Because I'm like genreless, so you can pick anything. So we could have a lot of fun with this. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. This was the first one, and I'm going to get better. This one was totally improv and stuff. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. <laughs>